Hey guys, so today we are going to be focusing on judgment. Now this is not just judgment of other people, this is judgment of ourselves. But I've got to tell you, there is an exercise that I do when I put on workshops and it really shows the effects that our negative thoughts, that our criticisms and that our judgments have on our physical body which is proof that it drains away our life force and keeps us from being happy. Now, we reap what we sow. So when we are sowing seeds of negative things, we will get those things back. This includes thoughts of other people. When we send out judgments to other people, this is like giving them poison. They receive it and it will surely return to us in time. So as we focus on letting go of judgment and criticism, you will find that there is so much more space inside of your body to create happiness and to create the life that you really do want with no negative karma to have to deal with down the road. Because like I said, we sow what we we reap what we sow so whatever we are planting we will at some point harvest it so just make sure that those seeds that you are planting are wonderful things that you will enjoy reaping the harvests of so if you guys are ready let's get started on today's session If you are set, let's get ready for today's session here. So finding a nice position of comfort. And as we work here today, we are working to remove any resistance that we have to life. Um, so anytime that we say that we don't like something, that we don't want something, anytime that we put out a judgment about something or somebody, what we are doing is resisting life. And so this is just going to be a practice to open that up, to have us remember that we do reap what we sow. So to sow beautiful seeds in the world rather than things that we just don't want coming back to us. So as you get nice and comfortable, just begin today's practice with closing your eyes and listening to my voice. And as you listen to my voice, you may want to follow along with what I'm saying, or perhaps you won't. You may find your mind drifting off or perhaps you might find it paying very close attention to what it is that I'm saying. So we're just going to begin here today by asking our mind, what thought am I thinking now? And as you probably more than likely immediately had a thought come into your mind there, whatever it happened to be, just looking at that thought, thinking, oh, that's what it was. I think about that pretty often. Uh, excellent. And then just letting that thought go. And then we're just going to ask ourselves, what thought am I going to think next? And as that next thought there just pops into your head, just acknowledging, okay, that's what came to my mind there. And then just letting that thought float away, knowing it's just a thought. And then we're just going to ask ourselves here, um, what thought am I going to think next? And whether a thought came or not, it really doesn't matter. Just acknowledging the thought or the lack thereof and letting yourself relax down even deeper now. And so as you now listen to the words that I'm saying, perhaps you will want to think about the deeper meaning 
behind the words that you hear as you hear them. Or perhaps you will want to think about the sounds in the words and how those sounds are emitting vibrations and how those vibrations are received by your ears. And as you receive those vibrations in your ears, perhaps wondering what effect that vibration has on your brain or has on your physical body. Now you may find yourself wanting to shift and move around and find an even deeper level of comfort. And if you do, perhaps thinking about the little tiny micro movements and adjustments that your body naturally makes so that you can find the deepest level of comfort, finding the most comfortable position for your body. You may even begin to notice other sounds that are around you. Now, these sounds, maybe in the past, would normally have been something that was quite distracting. But as you now become aware of any sounds, all of these sounds are part of the process and can just help to take you even deeper relaxed. So the sound of my voice and other sounds that you hear around in the building or wherever it is that you happen to be, all just help you relax and find an even deeper level of comfort and calm within your senses. As you now begin to sense certain sensations inside of your body, Sometimes we can feel a vibration or a tingling in our fingers and toes. Sometimes, other times, we cannot. But if this is something that you are currently experiencing, then just forgetting what we were even talking about all together now as you sink so much farther down, it's as if you are rowing a boat on a beautiful day and rowing and rowing and getting very tired of rowing. So perhaps you pull over your boat and begin to take a little rest just as you have rested so comfortably so many times in that nice comfortable bed of yours with those nice comfortable pillows and that nice cool blanket all working to bring you down to that even deeper level of comfort and serenity within you. And as you focus on the beauty in a flower, perhaps you can even notice the uniqueness of each petal of that flower and how this flower over here is different than that flower over there. Not only are they perhaps a different color, but each one has its own unique scent and each one complements the other one perfectly. As you could imagine the most beautiful flower arrangements and how all those different colors work together so beautifully to continue carrying you on down that river as you row and row and row your boat gently down the stream. And you can see up ahead, there's a bit of an inlet. And so perhaps you row your boat all the way over to the side and hop out. And as you hop out, you can find beautiful creatures all around you. Even that little squirrel over there who is coming over to say hi to you. Maybe even that little rabbit over there that is so adorable with his cute little face. And as you now let everything just fade away from your mind, 
Just let everything fade away from your mind and now relax deeper and calmer. Perfect. Deep breath in on your exhale, releasing any stress from the body. Again, inhale in, bringing yourself down to a calm, calm, relaxed and wonderful state. Excellent. So now I know in the past that we have put up some resistance to life through judgments, through criticisms. And as we have done this, it has not been working well for us. It's as if you are rowing upstream rather than going with the flow downstream. And we always want to be going with the flow. Anytime that we work against that flow, it really does feel like work. Anytime it feels like work, we encounter resistance, which we no longer find satisfying in our life. So as we hop back in that boat and begin to sail downstream, you'll notice that there is no need to row. In fact, the only thing that you need your paddles for is to steer left or right, but the work has been taken out of it as we continuously just go down river with the flow. Now some places in this river speed up and go very quickly, and some places in this river are a little slower perhaps without much of a current, and it takes a little bit of time to drift through these places. But eventually, we always come out downstream. The more that we fight and resist that river, the longer it takes to get there. So I want you to become aware now of any seeds that you have sown that you would not like return to you. Become aware of that now. As you become aware of these seeds that you have sown that you would not like return to you, giving thanks for these seeds. There is always a lesson for giving ourselves for what we didn't know until we learned it. So being thankful now for these seeds that we have sown, knowing that some great, powerful, and wonderful lesson will come from them. Now, that we are down at the end of the stream and you've hopped out of your boat, you can see that there is an empty field over there. It looks nutrient and mineral rich. Let's go over and feel that hearty soil there. Oh, wonderful. So rich with nutrients and minerals. What wonderful soil. So now, as we begin to plant seeds that we will be joyful to harvest, come harvest time, let's just begin to sow all of those seeds, those seeds of loving thought, those seeds of acceptance to what is and what is to come. those beautiful seeds and so as you start to plant and continue to plant all of those beautiful seeds I'm just going to give you a moment here to get that all plowed down in the dirt and planted so beautifully
wonderful and here comes that brilliant sun to bring some energy into those seeds now here comes that gentle rain so that all of the nutrients in the soil can care for and nurture those seeds that you have sown bringing water bringing life into the plants and as we examine closely these seeds here you will notice that no matter what type of seed is planted there is always a bit of space inside of them a place that appears to have nothing in it but we know that in all of the space in every molecule in every atom in every cell in all of that apparent space what the scientists would deem as space that there is consciousness and where there is consciousness there is life and where there is life there is consciousness and as we examine this seed what a miraculous thing it is that it contains this consciousness so it can transform from a seed into a fully harvestable plant and as you have now sown these seeds and they have begun to grow and they now flourish and are ready for harvest go and gather up all of that harvest that you got from those seeds that you sown do that now And as you have harvested these seeds that you have sown this is what it means to live a life more abundant a life more abundant means that we decide what we sow we also in turn harvest so sowing the kinds of seeds just like the angels would so angels give with a loving thought angels send out a beautiful loving thought with no doubt and it is surely made manifest and as we give as the angels give with loving thought I want you to do that now thinking of someone here in your life that perhaps you have sent judgment and criticism to I want you to recognize that that was a poison thing that happened there and now that you are aware of it you can go you can apologize and you can change that thought and I want you to see the absolute most amazing best outcome for that person right now And again if there is anyone else in your life that you feel that you have spread something to that you would not like received back going apologizing to this person and thinking of them in the most loving kind way seeing the best outcome for that person ever possible seeing it right now and believing in it believing it is possible everything is possible with divine love and as we know surely and deeply that what we send out will be returned to us at some point in the future you can know that right now what you have done has planted wonderful seeds for harvest in the future and as you continue to be aware of this you will be very mindful of the thoughts that you have in the future anytime the thought of I don't want I don't like 
comes into your mind, you will quickly wash it and sweep it away, knowing that that is just resistance to life and you no longer resist anything that comes in your life, whether you like it or not. You accept it and know that all works towards the good, that all is working in a perfect order to create a beautiful and perfect world of our making. And as you become very conscientious here in the future of the thoughts that you are sending out, perhaps you will even think of them like a boomerang and whatever it is that you send out is immediately returned to you, which will enable you to remember to send out only what it is that you want for yourself. And as you now become more loving, more gentle, and certainly more forgiving of yourself and of others, you will find that you are open and accepting life in a new and transformed way. And as you do this, joy and happiness begin to seep in to all of that space inside of you, to the space around you, in your home, and in your environment, in your workplaces, and anywhere that you travel to, you will begin to find that the world becomes so much more beautiful as you focus on what it is that you want to see, you will certainly find it. And beauty abounds when you search for it. As you find yourself being very gentle and kind and loving towards yourself. Removing any shame and any guilt from the past before you knew that you certainly harvest what you sow. You will find that things change for you from this point forward. No longer will it bring you any kind of satisfaction to speak of or think of judgments or criticisms. In fact, if one, through habit, seems to seep back into your mind, you will quickly change it into a loving thought and send it back from where it came. As you find yourself being so much more gentle and loving and kind towards yourself, you will find your yourself taking better self-care, increasing self-love, accepting yourself, your uniqueness, your place in the world in a much more kind, gentle, and loving way and accepting the same of others. As we finish today's exercise, I will be counting back from five to one. And as I count back, coming back, remembering any insights that came to you in today's practice. And as you return to your body, thanking your body for the service that it has provided for you, taking you where you need to go, caring for you deeply. And five, as we start to bring our awareness back into our body, bringing back a feeling of uplifted joy, knowing that here in the future, you are in complete control and you get to create the life that you truly want. Sending out a joyful thanks for this awareness and for this knowing that is deep within you. Four, as you start to bring energy back into your physical body, appreciating the physical body and bringing back that uplifted knowing inside of you. Three, knowing that you are deeply loved, that you are unique for a reason, and that you have a very special place in this world. Two, wiggle your fingers and toes. Bring some life 
back into your limbs. And as you wiggle those fingers and toes and start to move and shift around, let's come all the way back to the room on one. Eyes open and back in the room, feeling good. Good job on today's practice. Guys, this was amazing. Love to you all. Um, like and share this video. And don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, turn on your notifications so that you know when the next video um, is coming out. I love to you all. So much goodness I'm sending to you. Um, and have the most wonderful, blessed day today, guys. Love you all.